two steps you're going to do in this problem is exactly the same. You're going to replace your y with 0. Because again, to factor this, since we have more than one variable and the variable is raised to a higher power than 1, we're going to have to use this. Um, we're going to have to factor them. So therefore, I look at common terms. I can see they have a common x. So therefore, I have 6x squared plus x minus 1. Right? Now I have my polynomial written as a product of factors equal to 0. So I can apply a 0 product property. OK. So x equals 0. Is that solved? Yeah, good, right? That one's easy. Over here, is this one solved? No. So, But guess what? To solve, this is a quadratic set equal to 0. Have we learned about solving quadratics when they're set equal to 0? Yeah, we actually did a whole chapter on solving quadratics when they're set equal to 0. There's three ways we learned how to do this. Factoring, quadratic formula, and completing the square. Okay, Completing the square and quadratic formula, you can do for any, any, poly, any quadratic. However, factoring is usually the quickest and the easiest as long as you have built up your factoring skills. So I have showed you guys the long way, but we're just going to start moving forward with the quick way. If I, need, if I, know, my two, if I know a trinomial is going to break down into two binomials. My options for my two terms are 6x and x and 3x and 2x. Does everybody agree with me? That's it. That's the only two rational numbers that multiply to give you 6x squared. Correct? OK. Then what two numbers multiply to give you negative 1? Well, it's either going to be positive 1, negative 1, or negative 1, positive 1. Right? That's it, guys. That's your only options. So let's go ahead and look at. Um, in this case, let's just play with some numbers. Let's try plus 1, minus 1. We know that gives you the first term. We know plus 1, minus 1 gives you the last term, right? However, do my middle terms add to give you x? 1 times x is 1x. 6x times negative 1 is negative 6x. Negative 6x plus 1x is going to give you negative 5x, right? That's not going to give you x, right? And it doesn't matter if I switch the 1s. It's not going to give me positive 1x. So that factor doesn't work. Let's look at this one. Again, let's just practice. Plus 1, minus 1. Just, you could do it the other way. We know 3x times 2x gives you 6x squared. We know 1 times negative 1 gives you negative 1. 2x times 1 gives you 2x. 3x times negative 1 gives you negative 3x. Negative 3x plus 2x is negative x. Close, right? But we have negative x. We need positive x. So guess what? Just flip the signs. And now it works. So I factor that. Now I can use the zero product property again without showing my work. I'll find the zeros. And therefore, now I can use my solution set. Right? That's it. Done. Fine.